When will Zach Wilson return? Even though it's been labeled a two to four week injury, I fully expect the Jets to place him on injured reserve. This is Dr. David Chow, profootballdoc.com. In game, if you follow us from the command center, you saw that we said PCL sprain, and that was confirmed. After the statements from Zach himself about looseness, we said that's at least a grade two. It's two to four week recovery is the typical timeline. That's been confirmed by the national uh, reporters. So if it's two to four weeks, why are we saying that he will be put on injury reserve? He's the quarterback. Well, here's why. I've been in the team meeting rooms for discussions on status of players in my time with the San Diego Chargers, speaking with GM and head coaches, and I have an idea of how they think. This is part of the insider knowledge I try and share with you all. I believe Zach Wilson will hit injured reserve for these reasons. Not because he's a slow healer, not because the Jets don't like him. For the opposite reasons, they like him and they want him to be there. Look, no offense to the young guy, but he is not Dak Prescott. It is not Dak Prescott playing at 85% through his calf this week because the other options are Cooper Rush. It's Zach Wilson needing to be protected from himself and for a Jets team that doesn't have all the players healthy around him, doing the right thing by their young quarterback. You can't have him out two weeks, practice a couple times limited, and throw him out there with 80 85% on that, that knee. Not fair to him, not fair to the organization, not fair to the team in general. You got to wait till he's closer to 100% because he needs to be closer to 100% to protect himself as the future of the franchise. Putting all that together, I think the Jets take their time with him, give him the moment to breathe and catch up, and that's why they did what? They traded for Joe Flacco, because they know they can't go three, four weeks with Mike White. No offense to Mike White. That's why Joe Flacco was traded for from the Eagles. This will give them a little more time. It hasn't happened yet. Zach Wilson was DMP for practice. Uh, they don't even need to do it until uh, Saturday and still only miss the minimum three weeks. But I think he's going to miss more time than that, so there's no hurry to put him on IR anyways. I think he's likely to miss a lot closer to four games than to two games, and it's smart for the team to do that. Trying to share some of the insider knowledge with you all going forward here. Subscribe at YouTube to try and get notifications for this. And also uh, go to profootballdoc.com for always the latest information throughout the league. Thanks for watching.